Hey guys, this is PC in Entertainment. I am your host Priscilla Nichols and welcome to another another episode of True Foodie Travels. Bum, 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 bum. It's where I take you on travels with me to all the great eateries around DFW and abroad. And today we're here in the beautiful sunny Saturday of downtown Dallas, Texas. And we're going to check out Woolworths. And what Woolworths is the art of hospitality restaurant with chef driven craft cocktails and food and it's hidden here in this little walkway and I'll show you guys the little walkway. Let me show you the little walkway. Let me show you the walkway. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's kind of hidden but it's not but it's a very big hidden gem but it's in a walking distance of our great historical West End from the JFK Museum, the Reunion Tower Ball and the Dallas Aquarium so it's right here in this beautiful area we have a beautiful garden across. Let me show you guys the garden. Look. Look at this eye. Oh. That's right. So again, they are known for their craft cocktails and their delicious foods and everything is made from scratch. So we're going to go in and we're going to check a few of these dishes out. We say a few of these dishes, maybe one dish, not certain. We're just going to see how it goes. It is true food travels and you know how it works, right? <laughs> so stay tuned and we'll be right back. Bye. Back and again, like I said, we're here at Woolworths located in downtown Dallas off Elm Street. Well, it's in between Elm and Main Street. It's a little hidden walkway. All you gotta do is come down here and just enjoy the scenery and come on upstairs and get you some of this. Look at this. <laughs> do you see this? This is called The Hangover. You can understand why, right? So The Hangover is God, habanero chicken. Let me, let me. Habanero chicken. Sausage. Ham hash brown egg and I got mine over easy maple brown syrup gravy <laughs> wrapped up in a huge biscuit <laughs> I can see why this is called a hangover and I'm sorry I had to do this because I need you guys to see this this is so big no wonder they give you one of these usually it's just one of these right no you get one of these <laughs> So let's go ahead and dig into this right quick. There's enough talking about it, right? I'm kind of scared to take the stick out. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Look at that. Look. Ah! This is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. <laughs> look at this. There's no way. Look. There is no way. Guys, look. No, you need to take a closer look to this. Look at this. The hangover. Oh my God, the hangover. Oh, can you just imagine? Oh. So we're gonna take a bite. We got chicken. Sausage. Ham, sorry, the chicken. Oh, I guess we need to get some egg in there. Some egg, <laughs> the biscuit, holy smokes, some gravy. Who doesn't like a little sauce? Y'all know how I feel about my condiments. <laughs> Gravy's a condiment to me. Mm, let's take a bite. Never in my life have I seen something like this. Look at this. Look, look. Just look at it. Look at that. Look at that. You want closer? You want some? You want some? You want some? Guys, I swear, there's so much on this menu, but I. S this is a must-have. It's even a shareable. It's definitely a shareable. It's a. It's definitely a must-have. Everything goes right. The gravy, the maple syrup. The egg, the hash brown, and usually I don't like potatoes in my food, but this works. This is so good. I'm so impressed. 
Mm. And I know a lot of you might want, you know, the medium eggs, sunny side up or whatever. But I'm telling you, get a little runny yolk in there so when you cut into it, it just goes all just rolls in there. Sorry about the music. There's nothing we can do about the music. So it all just runs in there. So it's like a waterfall of golden goodness. <laughs> just going through your food and tasting wonderful. This is so good, y'all. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Look at that, look. And of course you probably don't have to eat all the biscuit, but it's kind of hard not to. And I guess you can understand why they call this the hangover, but it's only served on their brunch. So you'd have to get here between 10 and three. I don't know how much more I can say about this. I mean, the food is speaking for itself, as you can see, if you're looking at it. It just it speaks for itself. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> just come and get it. That's what I'm telling you. Just come and get it. Heck, call me up and I'll come with you. I'll come back and do it again. <laughs> so that's all for right now, guys. Um, we're gonna dig into this. <laughs> Ooh, and we will be right back. It's worth it, trust me. Mm. Welcome back guys to True Foodie Travels. Bum, -ba -dum -bum -bum. This next stop brings us to Louisville, Texas to the Catch Seafood. Known for bringing in the best of the coastal from oysters to shrimp, catfish, whatever you have it, they got it. Made fresh to order, hand battered, fried to a golden crisp goodness with 11 restaurants all over the state of Texas they are guaranteed to cure your seafood appetite and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna find out what it's all about so stay tuned and we'll be right back and we're at the catch seafood in Louisville Texas and I have with me right now to talk to you about it mr. David Weaver Hey guys, how's everybody? Owner. So talk to me about the catch. So the catch was started in East Texas uh, about four years ago in Tyler, Texas. My old hood. <laughs> and, uh, and we, uh, you know, we basically, me and another guy named Scott Norton came together and with the one idea in, in mind that we wanted to create the best tasting food we possibly could, mm -hmm. cook to order for every single guest mm -hmm. all day, every day. We don't mm -hmm. cut corners. Everything's made from scratch and we give away free alcohol. Oh, I'm, they're not kidding. I'm telling you, it's right here, no lie. So exactly when did y'all start? Uh, Thanksgiving of this year will be four years. <gasps> oh, congratulations. And I did read that you guys have 11 restaurants all over the state of Texas, or is there more? We have about 20 locations now. 20, oh my gosh. Oh we have my three goodness. in Oklahoma City, uh, three in the Houston market, four in the DFW market. Waco Temple Clean and, and East Texas. Oh, okay. And so, so talk to me about your cooks and about exactly where you got, how did you, I know I read it was a special recipe of your batters and all that. So guys, we're not going to get that information, <laughs> but <laughs> just talk about how I got started. Did you start out as a cook or is no, it No, I mean, family? I've just been in the restaurant business. I own some wing stops. That's how, you know, we, we, we have pictures of Rick Ross eating at our restaurant. Uh -huh. uh, that's the reason why we have that because I know Rick from the Wingstop world. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, basically, like I said, I partnered with another guy. I had locations. Uh, he is a culinary chef. Okay. And the two of us just basically kind of just cooked and tried things and, you know, maybe tinkered with things a little bit until truly every dish stands alone and tastes the best it possibly can. And like I, you tried the gumbo and the red beans and rice. Guys, it is truly the oh, real deal. Look at me. I'm making See, a that's, mess. That's a crime right oh there my gosh. because that stuff is so good. I had good, to show y'all. I was trying to show you. You don't want to spill even a drop. I was trying to show you, but he's, he's for real, guys. You know, I've tasted a lot of red beans and rice, and um, this is real red beans in this. This is not a can of beans. <laughs> yeah, we cook everything so good. from scratch all day long. So. That's awesome. And you guys have been here in this location for how long? Um, this location's been here probably about a year and a half. Okay. Um, it was a franchise store, and recently, about four months ago, I bought it back, and we, you know, really brought it to its roots of what, what the catch is. Mm -hmm. 
you know, people love what we do. Exactly. So, and you can guarantee us out here in a seafood, seafood loving world that you guys will never change, right? Never change. Oh, you gotta love the for four years and it worked. So we can go in here. Hey, look, if you can go into Houston, Texas and have locations that are successful. Oh yeah. Then you can go pretty much anywhere. Oh my gosh. He is not lying guys. You gotta come down here. Look at this food. Look, this is fresh. I haven't got into it yet. Well, actually I have, I'm not gonna lie to you. I tasted the shrimp and I swear, look, look, this is real shrimp. Like, you see that? Oh God. Jumbo I'm, shrimp. I'm excited. Cooked and battered just for you. Oh. Yeah, you hey, gotta try fish. a piece of that fish real quick. I am gonna try a piece of this fish right now, good. right now. Oh, it's so clean. Look at that, crispy. Y'all want a bite? Mm. <laughs> that cornmeal, just like. Mm. In the fish, the meat inside is fla is seasoned. You don't get that everywhere. You don't get the meat seasoned everywhere. And it's so light. Oh, and the taste, and it's clean. She, she, look at the gumbo. Look at that. That's a real dark <laughs> red. Yeah. It is the real deal. Yeah, it is real deal, guys. I mean, and it's not skimpy on the meat either. I really give you some stuff. I'm going to show you guys again later, but they really give you meat in your gumbo. I'm so excited. David, thank you so, oh, did y'all hear what he said? He also owns <laughs> Stop. another great, beautiful place. <laughs> I mean, look at me. <laughs> I didn't get like this by accident. I'm choking on my fish. <laughs> David, excuse me. Thank you. <coughs> this is live, you guys. <coughs> Don't worry, she's not dying. Maybe, maybe her taste buds are dancing. Her taste buds are dancing. That's what it is. In a happy dance. My soul is now being filled. <laughs> David, thank you so much for talking with True Foodie Travels. No I appreciate your time that you just took out of your busy schedule. No worries. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Hey, happy 4th of July, everybody. Oh, yeah, happy 4th of July. We'll be right back. Bye. Hey, guys, we're back. Oh, my gosh, wasn't that so cool? We got to talk to the actual owner, Mr. David Weaver. Ah, uh, and again, he owns all these restaurants, The Catch, owns some wing stops. Just an awesome, friendly guy. He greets you when you walk in the door, so it makes you really happy to come here and eat. But back to this food as well. So like I was showing you guys, I mean, I have tartar sauce, which I, you guys know I love my condiments. Oh, you know I do. But I'll be honest with you, it's so true. I don't need them. I, I mean, ju juicy gumbo shrimp. The taste has not been altered. Oh my God, thank you so much. The taste has not been altered. I mean, it's shrimp. Mm. And the seasoning of all of this is not overwhelming. It's not too much. And it's actually in the meat as well. You guys know I love hush puppies. <clears throat> but let's talk about this gumbo right quick. I sampled this gumbo. You guys. Y'all saw me spill beans earlier. Look at this. See the color? Look at that color. Oh. And it's full of meat. It's, it, you're getting sausage and shrimp in every bite. The right color, the okra. <clears throat> no, nothing is needed. No crackers, no hot sauce, but I am a southern girl and I do love my hot sauce, but I just want you to know it doesn't need it. I promise you. But we're gonna do it. But it doesn't need it. It doesn't, it doesn't. I just do it for the taste. <clears throat> this food is so amazing. I am so impressed. You know, you go around <clears throat> and you look for a lot of good seafood. Sorry, I'm still choking. <laughs> He's not lying. My taste buds are dancing. My soul is full. It's amazing. And <clears throat> the flavor and the, everything is so good. And the people are so nice here. From him to the servers. This food is so great. And I know that I'm going, oh, <clears throat> and it is free beer and free margaritas every single day. No, no, there's no joke. There's no catch to it, even though you're coming to the catch. There's no catch to it. Oh, it's so great. Beautiful. <clears throat> look at that. Golden. Look at that. Pretty. Oh, 
if you're a southern girl or southern man like myself and you love you some fried catfish, you'll come to the catch. <clears throat> They're gonna fill your appetite. They've actually brought me one more thing. I'm pretty sure it's in the to-go container because they don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat it right now. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. Key lime pie. We're gonna find out what this is all about. It's mine. I can I can do what I want. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> Creamy, man. I'm not a big fan of key lime. This is creamy. Oh my god. It, it's not. It's just good. It, it's 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 not whiny. It's not too sour. It's not sweet. You know, you can get a hold of a lot of different, and it's not store bought. <laughs> so we're gonna save this for dessert because I know I'm gonna deserve it because it's so great. Hush puppies. <clears throat> There's really not much more I can say about the food, except for how good it is. Crispy, golden, flavor, delicious. You just need to come and check it out. Like he says, there's over 20 locations now. You're Oklahoma, Oklahomians, or however you want to call yourselves. Houstonians, Houstonians, Houston, <laughs> Texas. Go to the catch. Find the one nearest you. They would definitely satisfy your seafood appetite. <laughs> Guys, that is it for True Foodie Travel to the TC Entertainment. I am your host, Priscilla Nichols. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, let's travel, meet, and have great eats. Bye.